In this video, I will show you how to make your player character slide around on the ice in your levels. So if you want to learn something new and add a cool effect to your game, then please slide into the video. Game, game Dev, Dev journey. journey. And welcome back to another Construct tutorial with me, Rob, from Game Dev Journey. Today, I'll be showing you how to make your character slide on ice to add that little bit of spice to your level. Let's start a new project. We'll call it Ice Ice Baby. And first thing we'll do is we'll rename this layer to Level. And I have a tile map which use for the level so this is the tile map I'm going to use for the level I'm just going to change the block size to 16 by 16 Right. Uh, in fact, we'll rename this to the player because this is such a short demonstration. We'll just put the solid behavior on the tile map. Then we'll go to our player and we'll just add a sprite. We'll call it the player. Yeah, player. We will just fill this little square here. And we can worry about resizing this later. But for now, that will be our player. And we'll add platform behavior to this there and if we run the level we can move around like so right what we are going to do now is add the ice to the level so we will add a tile background have one ready and we'll add these ice tiles to our there so there we can see some ice so if we run you can see here this is going to be the ice that we slip and slide on Right, so what we want to happen here is when the player is over the ice, we are going to set lower the deceleration and lower their acceleration as well. So at the moment, these are the settings we have here. So let's adjust this a bit. Make that 150. Acceleration and deceleration can stay on 1,500. Jump strength will move down to about 350. Gravity is fine. Full speed maybe. Make that less. And the max full speed. Uh, sorry. Gravity can stay at 1.5 actually. I meant to change the max 
full speed to 500 and um, the rest can just stay as is so if we now see how it plays that's a lot better okay so now what we'll do in our event sheet is set it up so that when the player is overlapping the ice then we set the player's deceleration we lower it all the way down to 50 and we set their acceleration all the way down to 150 so both coming down from 1500 so what you'll see now is I can move normally there and now now suddenly I'm sliding and you can see that sliding motion but now I'm still doing it so you need to reset it so that once you're off the ice you don't slide anymore so we'll just add a system else event here and we'll say set everything back to normal and in fact we'll just copy and paste copy and paste these two and set them back to what they were which was 1500 and now you'll see when we slide as soon as we off the ice we go back to normal but when we're on the ice we can't really control ourselves as precisely because we're sliding so let's make a group here and call this ice and we'll add these to the ice group so we can make this I mean obviously this would look a lot better if we had an animation for the player so we could just add a sprite called animations and I've already got one that I got from open game art called free night and in fact let's just load the animations from a strip because there are strips here so let's add the idle here it is one two three ten I believe it is there's the idle animation and we can just set this image point to the bottom and the whole animation shift and crop we'll rename this to idle increase that to 10 now we can add another animation let's call this one um, run and we'll also import from the strip slide which is really what we came here for so let's rename this to slide and let's import from the strip there's the slide with four frames put the origin at the bottom and apply to the whole animation 
shift click, uh, shift click to crop all of them, and now we've got our idle run, jump, and slide. Okay, so now what we can do is make sure we add the pin behavior to the animations because we're going to pin this onto the square. And if we want to match the size, it's 23 by 40, so let's just make this 23 by 40. And we're going to pin the animations to our player. So if we go to the layout, I mean the event sheet, we can have a system event on the start of the layout. We're going to pin to the player. Done. So they are pinned. They'll move together. Now we can do the animations. So I just have to put this at the top. Okay, so let's make a new group called animations and what we'll do is uh, add an event here that when the player is not moving so we invert that then the animation will be idle okay if we have the player moving then the animation will be run. And then if the on the ice here players overlapping ice we will add the animation to slide. And then we need jumping, so player is jumping, animation will be jump. Okay, make sure that these are in the animations. Let's see what that looks like. Um, we also need mirroring. So we want the keyboard, which we'll add to our project here. We'll add an object keyboard, and we will say if key is down. For default controls, we're going to say left. So if we're pressing left, then we're going to set the animation, set mirrored to mirrored. that and change this to right arrow and this will not be right and let's just add these two animations that should do the animations let's have a look so here we've got our guy he can jump and he goes over the ice okay the slide is not working so we need to investigate that I mean the mechanic is working but the animation is not playing so let's just see right so the problem that we have is that if the player is overlapping the ice then the slide animation is set to play however if the player is moving then the run animation is set to play so what we actually need to do and also to keep things consistent and keep the animations all in one place so I'm going to take this animation away from that area come down to our animation section and set it so that if the player is overlapping the ice and so add another condition here if the player is moving so if you're overlapping the ice and you're moving then we'll set the animation to slide to our animations. 
sensitive. Copy, just put it in. So now let's see what happens. So now, as we hit the ice, we slide. And if we now set our player controller to invisible, run the game. We don't see the red block anymore and we get that nice slide effect on the ice. Well that's it from me, I hope that you learned something. If you enjoyed it, please like the video and consider subscribing to support me. See you next time.